This is the YouTube channel for Shine and Light Baptist Church. Uh, if you found yourself here, you follow, followed a link or had someone uh, point you to this page, uh, maybe you've just uh, stumbled across it as you've been surfing and looking around. Uh, my name's Luke, I'm the pastor of the church, and uh, we're a small church at Tannum Sands in central Queensland. Uh, given, given the current circumstances that this world's in and all that we're facing, we've uh, gone live and gone online and so we want to do just a brief introductory video to let you know who we are and what this uh, channel is all about. So all of our sermons that uh, are preached in our church and a number of uh, lessons that are taught in Bible studies are uploaded onto this, uh, this channel, as well as some other devotions and uh, things going on there. You'll notice from time to time that uh, some short videos get put up and pulled down. They're the things that are just announcements and uh, momentary things that only really count for a little bit of time and uh, aren't needed after that. Well, as we get underway and as you find your way around this uh, YouTube channel, I wanted to just give you a, a few thoughts that I might just give a bit of an introduction to who we are and where we stand as a church. I want to read to you a passage of scripture found in the Gospel of Mark, and it begins in verse 31 of chapter 8. The Bible says, He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. And he spake that, saying openly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savourest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. Here we see Christ talking to his disciples, and Peter, one of his closest disciples, got it wrong. If there's one truth that the Bible has from the front to the back cover is that we as people, we get it wrong. Uh, we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, the Bible says, and we so often get it wrong as to what God's doing and what his purpose and plan is. Jesus went on and he called the people under him with his disciples also, and he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life, shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Here the Lord lays out some truths for us that have been on my mind about this area for a lot of years. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? We've seen this world turned on its head. End of last year, there was the bushfires down south, and there was nothing mankind had to throw at them. We had to wait for the rain. We step into 2020, and we have COVID-19 coming down on us, and we've got nothing to throw at it. What does it profit us if we gain the whole world and lose our own soul? There's so much in this world that is out of our control, things we cannot affect. But your soul, there's something you can do with that. In this YouTube channel, I hope that in the listening to the sermons and the teaching and the devotions, you'll find some truths that will help you to set your soul right before the Lord, that you might find the means of reconciliation. And I encourage you there as you listen that that means of reconciliation is Christ. There's no other name given among men whereby you must be saved. I hope you enjoy our sermons and our content.